Storm Over the Nile is a 1955 British adventure war film adapted from the novel The Four Feathers by author A.E.W. Mason. It was directed by Terence Young and Sultan Corda and has a cast of Anthony Steele, Lawrence Harvey, James Robertson Justice and Mary Ure. The film was released on the 26th of December 1955. The plot. So what's it all about, mate? So Storm Over the Nile is a story of a young British soldier played by Anthony Steele who tries to restore his tarnished reputation after he is given four white feathers to symbolize cowardice by his three best friends and his fiancée Mary Ure. After he resigns his commission on the eve of his regiment being sent out to Sudan to fight the Mahdi army in the Egyptian uprising. So he dons a disguise as a native um, tribesman heads out to Egypt and um, tries to uh, commit acts of bravery and to rescue his friends um, to restore his tarnished reputation. So what did you think, mate? So what did I think of Storm Over the Nile? Well, I thought this was a fairly lackluster, unexciting kind of adventure film, I have to say. Um, not particularly well shot or directed. And just not that uh, gripping or exciting. Um, the story is not bad, but it's just the execution, I think. It's just a very dull movie. Even the battle scenes are not particularly that uh, good to watch. Uh, the acting was just about okay. I mean, Anthony Steele's uh, mute for most of the most of the movie because he's uh, playing a, a tribesman that's supposed to be mute. Um, that doesn't really have the drama, but it's just uh, not that interesting a story, to be honest. I mean, it should be more interesting. It probably would have made a, a good novel. Uh, maybe it just doesn't transfer well to uh, the screen. I don't know. Um, it's got all the elements there for an exciting, interesting adventure story, but it just doesn't come through on the screen for me. Certainly not in this uh, adaptation of the story anyway. Um, not really a lot to recommend this. Um, maybe read the book instead, perhaps. I've never read the novel, but um, not a great adventure film for me. But pretty bland. The performances are fairly flat and just a flat, kind of rather dull adventure film. I would rate this film maybe 6.2 out of 10. Thanks for listening and bye for now.